Hey, hope you enjoy your day, afternoon, or evening. And I hope you enjoy the Super Bowl. Which is kind of the reason for this uh, video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So, Super Bowl 57's over with. And what a game it was. I wanted a close game. And for those people like myself, got that close game. Uh, was kind of thinking we're going to go in the overtime. It did not. So, that being said, beyond the closeness, it was a really good game. I liked it a lot. Um, let's see what else. Halftime show was good. Not my particular type of music, but I liked it. Speaking of the halftime show, at the start of it, you can't, I, for some reason, couldn't really hear Rihanna. I don't know if anybody else had any trouble either. The other part I don't understand about the uh, halftime show was the marshmallow outfits the backup sing the backup not singers backup dancers were had on. Uh, I was confused by it, and I don't quite understand it. Their dancing was a little weird. The singing was good. The music was good, and that's pretty much my opinion of the halftime show. So let's look at the real reason as to why this video is happening. The commercials. We get the score, which is good. We get the halftime show, which was also good. To me, it's all about the commercials. And they were just as good, if not a little bit better. I think... I really can't remember last year's commercials, so I'm not going to go off a bit. But from what I remember, it was better this year. Uh, I quite enjoyed them. And I've actually ranked the top three of my favorite commercials this year. One being the... Where'd it go? Yeah, I'll be right back with that. So, to me, the three commercials that really hit the mark with me is the T-Mobile... Uh, T-Mobile commercial with John Travolta and the two guys from Scrubs. Uh, that was completely funny. I enjoyed it. I was kind of singing along with it. The second one that really hit home with me was the uh, Sarah McLaughlin commercial that had to deal with, excuse me as I read some notes, the Bush beer commercial. That was fun and funny. Uh, that's a great play on. That's actually Sarah McLaughlin's second time doing a Super Bowl commercial, and the commercial just being hysterical. She's got a really good uh, comedic sense for whoever wrote the commercial. That's a really good comedic sense. Uh, that was the second I liked that they used Sarah McLaughlin for the um, campaign, but the way they did it with the different type of shelter, because she does save shelter animals, if you don't know. That that was pure genius by the folks at Bush. That was funny. And the first... Mm, let's see. So I don't have the um, first commercial. Unfortunately, so I'm actually going to be picking the one that I, I gave the most reaction to, which is the Doritos commercial with Elton John. Totally shocked, totally surprised, what's not expecting that. And I'm happy. I That was kind of funny, too. I kind of liked it myself. So the Pringles was very good. Going off some notes, Pringles was good. Let's see what I have. The Mayo commercial, I'm going to make vague, vague references so you all can um, find them on your own time. The other part of it was, let's see, Coors Light, Miller's Light, and Blue Moon. 
that was very interesting to have those three beers together. Um, that was that was different in the sense you don't normally see. So, but how do you say? So many beers in one commercial. That that was different in that way, and I I enjoyed the difference, and I enjoyed the fight actually. That was that was fun to watch. So there was a couple different uh, commercials that tugged at my heartstrings. One was being the Farmer's Dog commercial with, well, I don't quite remember it. I just watched it. But the Farmer's Dog commercial was very good in that sense. Um, what else? There was a local commercial for Rodwell, Roswell Cancer Center that was also good. Um, that tugged at my heartstrings too. The commercial for chicken and dealing with another local company too, it's White Men's here in Western New York. That was also good. Uh, I quite, I really do like the NFL women's commercial, meaning the NFL is pushing itself forward and it knows it needs to, which is props to them. Um, having them move themselves forward in the way they're doing it, having more women on staff, referee, and all that is awesome. And the tag football uh, commercial for the NFL women's uh, was a good start in the retroaction of representation. So, we have, we are going to go through more, let's see, what else? I was kind of surprised at this, actually. The, um, Budweiser's and Bud Light really didn't come in at all over the last or the over the game. Uh, they actually only had one commercial, and it was in the middle of the third quarter. It was probably about fifteen seconds, I think, maybe thirty. And I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of shocked that they were um not at the ball. They didn't want to be. I don't know, but. It's very unusual to not see a Bud Light commercial, even uh, Budweiser. But the not having the Budweiser actually means other companies can uh, take the spot, uh, which is interesting to see how many com- other commercials. It seems like we definitely we def uh, as fans we definitely got a lot more variety um, this year in regards to commercials. And that's cool. I kind of liked it a lot. The one that stood out to me. Oh, right. I, okay. Found the, found the, my personal fave number one, uh, commercial. It's the Crown Royal and it is the Thank You Canada. That commercial was funny. Uh, reason being, it was pretty much a knowledge drop. On what Canada gave the world. So, hockey, crown war, royal, beer, which all about blue, Wayne Kretzky, Nickelback, Monsters of Canada give us. I don't know. <laughs> so, that, those were my three faves. Okay, let's see what else we have. Yes, the NFL commercial for It Takes All of Us, which is another way for the NFL to move itself forward. I'm wondering if it's going to happen. I'm wondering how long it's going to take, but we will see on that front. And for some reason, Disney came out with a 100-year event commercial, even after celebrating the even just after celebrating their 50th, they are already already advertising their 100th. Mind you, the copyright for Mickey Mouse and the Disney Empire is up this year, or sometime this year. I'm not sure which. So that would be interesting to see if they go into the public domain. Hmm. The... 
I didn't even really see any movies I wanted to see either. I mean, a couple movies here and there, but not too many. I liked M Melissa McCarthy in the Booking.com commercial. That was good. Um, let's see, Skechers. The Skechers commercial near the end of the ball was good. I liked it because of the cast. You got Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart, which they are friends. But um, you have to go back to watch it. I liked it mostly for the fact that it was really stacked with uh, celebrities. That was why I liked it. The commercial for ah yes, Mr. Peanut. The pe the peanuts got Mr. Peanut got roasted. Now that alone, metaphorically, is hysterical. The commercial itself is just as good. Uh, so yeah, I'm grinning because it's very memorable. As are, as are most of the ones that actually I took uh, took notes on. Just just about all of them. Uh, let's see, the game lost audio for four seconds. That was interesting. I don't believe that's ever happened. Mm. Yes, this popcorn brand. I think it's, I don't know what it is. I have never heard of it. It's called Popcorners. And I had a Breaking Bad uh, commercial element to it, which was interesting. I liked it. And I don't even watch Breaking Bad, but the idea and the concept behind it were pretty good. All right, what is next? Yes, I think the biggest winner, beyond my favorites, is going to be the Kia Binky Dad commercial. I am picking that as a clear winner. Good luck to them. Uh, I like that one. I thought that was really cool. They got a lot of brands. Let's see. Uh, Amazon Dog. Right. That one. That that. I'm just going. I was going to go through every all the commercials, but I decided not to. <laughs> just going to pick stuff at random, I guess. The Amazon dog commercial is the adoption commercial where the family buys the crate after the lockdown. So their dog isn't getting in trouble. Well, that's kind of dumb because you put the dog... No, they got the crate for another dog they adopted. Which, again, makes no sense. But whatever. Uh... Mainly because you got two dogs, they make twice the mess. Trust me, I should know. I have one. Well, okay, I don't have one. My parents have one, but you get the gist. So, that is it, I believe. Let me make sure. Yes! The main the main thing I wanted to... Not, not the main thing. The sub-main. Sub-main? I don't know. Uh, M&Ms are back. Thank the holy people. Thank the holy people, but thank you for holding their spot, Maya Rudolph. Thank you for holding the Eminem spot, but I'm happy they're back, as is everybody. It was, I, I still can't figure out what bars and Eminems were doing, trying to get rid of their iconic people. So stupid. So stupid, but I'm glad they're back. And let's see, T-Mobile talk about it. Peanuts that uh, talked about it. But yeah, there was also another commercial for a uh, local local person, or lawyer uh, William Matar. That was pretty good. A little bit funny. I liked it. As you can tell, I sounded my voice. <laughs> Uh, the Kiss and Ozzy commercial, the work, it's got a company called Workday. That was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. There really wasn't anything bad, uh, about this year's Super Bowl, really. I found it enjoyable on both sides, the commercial and the game. As well as the halftime show, not being a, a big, big fan of Rihanna's. That was very, 
good. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Give me a few seconds here. The farmer's dog road strike. Yes, the okay. So the crowd strike cybersecurity firm did a wonderful job remaking history in the way of the Trojan virus from the ancient times when I want to so mess this up. Troy got a gift from somebody, and I knew you guys are gonna fill me in on this. Um, well, somebody is. So, the Trojan horse is a legendary uh, Greek for Greece fiasco when they were trying to win a war back in ancient times. Greece got a gift from somebody, or Greece gave a gift to somebody, and that empire won the war because they had that horse at the gates and they let him in. This particular version, they did not, they threw him off a cliff, which is great. That wasn't the funny part. It was actually the fact that it was a huge, gigantic metaphor. And that's it. Yeah. I'm still looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy. That was one of the main movies I thought I'd go see when it comes out. It's actually the last part. I'm kind of surprised the way... um. Marvel usually does their uh, sequels. They just keep going, going, going. Like Dan and Jason Bunny. Okay, Rocketon I use. I'm glad they were in the commercial. WeatherTech my family uses. I'm glad to see them. They, they were in the bowl. The only question... And the only confusion I really had was the Squarespace commercial with Adam Driver. Still confused because I don't know what they were advertising. I know who they are, but I do not understand what they were talking about. I do not understand what they were talking about. I do not get it. Michelob Ultra was good. I've used it. Don't want it. The Jeep commercials, the electronic Jeep commercials, those were pretty good too. All right, 16 minutes have gone by, and those are my highlights. Hope you enjoy your day, afternoon, or evening. Thanks for watching.